The Denver Olympic story starts in a land of Olympian proportions, the American West. Massive, majestic, you can feel it all around you. The heroes, the villains, the hardship, and the triumph. Here, man has fashioned unique relationships to himself and to the land. A spirit lives here, the tradition of the West. Nestled against the great Rocky Mountain Range lies the city of Denver, United States candidate for host city to the 1976 Winter Olympic Games. Denver shares the Western adventure as it has from the beginning. Here is gathered the lore and the legend, the art and the music of the frontier. Yet Denver faces forward to lead the growth and excitement that is the modern West today. Denver is the essence and the pulse beat of the adventure West, changing and growing with the country. This land has always dominated the people of the West. Once as they struggled to tame it, today as they enjoy the richness of its outdoor way of life. The heritage of the West lives for the people of Colorado, along the footsteps of the pioneers. Mountains set the scene here for recreation and for organized athletics at all times of year. Still, it is winter when Colorado truly comes alive, and the traditions stay alive. After the Indians have properly blessed the season, skiers find that high mountains and a crisp, dry climate provide ideal conditions from November through May. Colorado is called Ski Country USA for good reason. There are over 20 major ski resorts in Colorado for the one and a half million people who come here each year to ski. Ski instructors thought so highly of Colorado's ability to sponsor sporting events that the 8th Interski, the first international congress of ski instruction outside of Europe, was held here successfully. But Denver's interest in winter sports goes far beyond recreation. Competition has always been an important part of the Western scene, as it is today. The terrain, climate, and competitive spirit of the area have led to a growing involvement in winter sports competition.
Since 1950, 24 national and 25 international winter sports championships have been held in Colorado. This experience has attracted athletes from all over the world and resulted in a high degree of competence in staging, administering, and judging winter sports events. Today, Denver is the United States' choice for hosting the 12th Winter Olympics. It is a most natural selection. Already, nearly 80% of the facilities necessary to hold the 76 games are constructed and ready. The proposed site for the men's and women's slalom and giant slalom at Loveland Basin is only 45 minutes from downtown Denver by superhighway. Nearby Mount Snicktow, four miles closer to Denver on the same highway, is the site for the downhill races. These sites, virtually assured of ample snow and sunny weather, meet Olympic standards set by the International Ski Federation. Nordic events will be held in the Evergreen area on Denver Mountain Park property only 20 minutes from Denver. Since the events will be staged in a natural bowl, all cross-country events, the biathlon and ski jumps, will be grouped within one large spectator area. Nearby, also on park property, will be the bobsled and luge. Figure skating and ice hockey events can be held at the Denver Coliseum, although a new ice arena is now being contemplated. Speed skating will take place at a new rink near the Olympic Village, which will seat 10,000 spectators. The dramatic opening and closing ceremonies will be held at the Denver Stadium, with a capacity for 50,000 spectators. So the sights for 76 are there, with a the promise of exciting, challenging competition. But Denver well knows that the staging of the games calls for practical considerations as well, and these have not been ignored. Denver is a major metropolitan area with all the attendant facilities. Stapleton Airport is being expanded even further, although it is already capable of handling the supersonic and jumbo jets of the 70s, which will make travel to Denver both fast and inexpensive. For international travelers, Denver has direct service from many overseas cities, and all necessary customs and immigration facilities. Direct flights are also available from virtually all major American cities. Thanks to predictably good weather, Stapleton is closed down an average of only seven hours a year. Travel to Denver is further assisted by the seven federal highways and six class one railroads which serve the metropolitan area. All sports sites west of Denver benefit from single road access via Interstate 70, a modern divided highway four to six lanes wide. The ever-present problem of visitor housing will be solved in 76 by more than 100,000 beds within easy driving distance of the Olympic sites. Tourism is a primary industry here. Denver's giant new convention building will be the international center for the games. This modern complex with over 90 meeting rooms will provide separate space for the International Olympic Committee, the International Sports Federations, each of the National Olympic Committees, and the Denver Organizing Committee. In addition, the international center has ample space to comfortably accommodate the large contingent expected from the international news media.
The general communication capability of the Denver area assures that television coverage of the games will be the best and most comprehensive in history. Certainly one of the most important aspects of any Olympic Games is the Olympic Village, the site for housing all competing athletes, their coaches, and trainers. Denver's Olympic Village is already built and guaranteed by the University of Denver. This resident complex is large, modern, and self-contained with lounges, recreational areas, restaurants, and cafeterias. On the grounds of the university, it assures plentiful access to the cultural activities and person-to-person -person contact so vital a part of the games. And the housing is spacious. No more than two athletes will be assigned to a room. Nineteen seventy-six is not only the Olympic year, but also the year of America's bicentennial and Colorado centennial celebrations. Already planned in conjunction with the games is a fine arts festival celebrating the birth of a nation, a state, and the longer history of the Olympiad. Denver will encourage an intimacy of man's works, of the mind and of the body, a festival of what man can do. Denver offers the magic of the West, its adventure, tradition, and culture. But more than that, Denver wants to share its mountains, its competitive experience, and its facilities with all the world. Most of all, the people of Denver want to share a truly enriching experience at the 12th Winter Games. We hope we'll see you in 76.